More than a third of American adults are now considered obese. And the American Medical Association now recognizes obesity as a disease. But some doctors often can't see beyond the excess weight themselves and admit it's an area in health care which needs to change. Sheila Gray is here to explain how medical school is serving as ground zero these days for improving doctor-patient relations. Jack and Deborah, obesity bias is a growing concern in the medical field. The American Medical Association agreed last summer that obesity should be classified as a disease with the hope that it'll get people important treatment and increase understanding. A Massachusetts doctor refuses to treat patients who weigh more than 200 pounds, saying they pose an injury risk to his staff. More than a dozen South Florida OBGYN practices set weight cutoffs for the women they treat. And a growing body of research shows many doctors who do treat overweight patients have a negative view of them. The Rudd Center for Food Policy and Obesity surveyed 2,500 obese women. 69% said they've experienced bias by their doctors. The journal Obesity analyzed doctor visits and found physicians were 35% less likely to demonstrate emotional rapport with overweight patients. And academic medicine says 40% of third-year medical students have unconscious bias against overweight people. Obesity has a stigma attached to it. Dr. Trace Curry has performed more than 10,000 weight loss surgeries, many of those procedures on patients who've endured prejudice at the doctor's office. I don't think uh, that uh, overall as a whole that we're trained very well in how to properly communicate with patients. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what's going on today? We learn over time and definitely something that we learn here that is so much more than just a series of life choices. First year medical student Lisa Rickey is learning a different way. There are you know, any number of social, economic, um, family circumstances that play a role. Biases that we may have been brought up with can play out in the exam room. The medical colleges at George Washington University, Wake Forest University, and the University of Cincinnati are among several around the country raising students' awareness about their own attitudes here before they're in the exam room. If, if you've offended a patient, they're, they're either going to not come back or they're not going to follow your recommendation. Also want to be aware of any cardiovascular function. Medical educators no longer focus strictly on symptoms and science. While they know some future physicians may never fully lose their biases, the hope is that they learn techniques to keep it from affecting patient care. We can't assume an ideal world for every person, and so knowing that information and having the kind of relationship with a patient who feels comfortable sharing that with you is really you know, one of the most important things that you can do uh, in a doctor-patient relationship. And it's not just medical students tackling this sensitive issue. The American Medical Association says thousands of health professionals, mostly physicians, have taken a free online course focusing on obesity bias offered by Yale University. Deborah.